Good morning. Our older kids, Constance and Lincoln, are at school and Amelia is taking her, her little nap. So I thought I would hop on and chat with you guys a little about life with Amelia here in Mexico. Amelia is our one-year-old. She's one in three months and she was born in Hawaii, but when she was just a month and a half, a month and a half old, um, we moved here to Mexico. So her life, she has been raised here in Pueblo, Mexico. And I thought I would share a little bit about how it's been raising her here in Mexico um, and also show a little bit of a day in the life of Amelia, uh, especially now that her brother and sister are off at school during the daytime. It's a lot more of mommy and uh, Amelia time. Uh -huh. Where are you? I think the first thing that comes to many people's mind when they think about um, raising your child in another country, especially in a country that has a different language, is what language is she speaking? Is Amelia speaking more Spanish or more English? And even though she's just one and three months old, she definitely loves to talk. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Gonna get out? Uh, okay, let's go. Can you say go? Uh, go. She loves, loves, loves to talk. So her very first word was actually, I guess, a bilingual word. Her first word was wow. So every time she would see anything that was exciting or that she wanted, she would say wow, wow. And that's something that's understood by the Mexicans who speak Spanish as well as those who speak English for around here. So that was her first word. And soon after that, other words followed like mama. And then we choose to call Justin in our family papi. So mama and papi or mommy and papi came soon after that. Um, she chooses and then pretty much her language is has both Spanish and English in it. Some are, she knows both the word thank you and gracias, and she knows both the word please and por favor. But and then there are some words that she's more comfortable in in one of the two languages. She doesn't ever say comer, she says eat when she's hungry, and she never says water, she says agua when she's thirsty. Agua. Agua, yummy. <laughs> yummy agua. So it's very interesting to see which language she chooses for which words. And one other thing I know that has impacted her language so far um, is my little nephew, Kai. He was visiting for two months when my sister and my niece and my nephew were all with us. And he's two years old. So his language is also developing. And Amelia learned a lot of her words from him. So with him being around, she started saying owie, and she started saying help me. And so these phrases are in English since my nephew speaks more English than Spanish. And so it'll be interesting to see though, now that he, they are on adventures in South America right now, which um, I'll add a link to their YouTube channel if you're interested in following their adventures. Um, and so they're gone, but they're, so, I'm curious to see now how her language will continue to form because it was very clear that she was learning most of her language from him for the whole time that they were here staying with us. So number two would be her diet. Um, I think there's definitely some things that are different that I'm choosing to feed her being here in Mexico than maybe I would choose if I were living in the United States or in Hawaii. She eats a lot of avocado because there's lots of that here and it's affordable, unlike in Hawaii, it was pretty pricey, as well as mango. She loves mango and avocado. And she also eats bananas really well. And all of those fruits grow very well here in Mexico and are plentiful at our nearby markets. Um, she also eats majority of Mexican food well. She actually handles spice probably better than my older two do. Obviously not a lot, but if there's some spicy flavor within the meat or the vegetables or the rice, 
she, as long as she likes the other flavors too, she'll definitely keep eating, kind of muscles through the spice of those other foods. Um, I do at home make her foods with other flavors that are maybe more Asian, like with soy sauces and ginger and garlic, and she eats that also really well. So overall, she's a pretty good eater, but I would say as far as the fresh, fresh fruits and vegetables that we feed her, majority are things that we find here locally. Number three is the Mexican culture that's around her. Um, I definitely know that's affecting how she's growing and who she is becoming. Um, so her natural personality, she's probably more extroverted than Lincoln and a little more introverted than Constance. So being here in Mexico, um, there's a lot of, it's very important in the culture to say hello and goodbye to people when you see them. And she does pretty well with that from a distance. She likes to say hi from afar. She likes to say goodbye, but she doesn't like to be up too close and personal. She doesn't love to be held by people she doesn't know very well. And honestly, even Justin and Constance and Lincoln at times have a hard time getting her to, to be with them. She would prefer mommy right now in the age that she is. Um, so that's maybe a little bit difficult for her because the culture here is very open and warm and welcoming and a lot of people want to hug her and hold her and kiss her and she struggles a little bit with that. And um, so it'll be interesting to see as she continues to grow up here um, if she'll choose to be more open to that or if she'll choose to just put up boundaries um, to mix her nature versus nurture here in Mexico. So a typical day for Amelia usually begins between maybe seven and eight in the morning. Kind of depends on how early I'm waking up and, and what's going on in the house, but she definitely senses once I'm awake and wakes up usually soon after that. And in the morning, she always has a great, she's in, always in a great, great mood. She's very independent always, but especially in the morning, right after she wakes up and she kind of explores, which is really nice because I usually have to focus on getting her brother and sister up and ready and packed up and hair done and fed and off to school. So um, she is very, very mellow in the morning, which is very nice and usually isn't super hungry until a little later when she definitely knows the word eat, eat, and will tell us when she's ready to eat. So she also loves to leave the house. So as soon as we're packing up and bags are getting on, she's ready to, she's grabbing her shoes and she's ready to head out the door. Uh oh, step in. Come on, Papa. Yay. Let's go. Once we get home from dropping off her brother and sister at school, Amelia loves our one-on-one -on -one time, and I really love it too. I try to focus on her since I know her life is a lot of running around with the schedule of her brother and sister and, and her mom and dad. So we do a lot of reading books, we do puzzles, we do toys. Sometimes we cuddle up and watch a little bit of her favorite little Netflix show, Gaina Pintadita, or maybe something on YouTube. and. We spend time together. If she's wake, woken up early, she often is ready for a little morning nap before we go off to pick up brother and sister from school. You tired, Nene? <sighs> Uncle sleepy. Wanna take a nap? Happy. Happy. So we really enjoy this time together. When she was, before she could speak, um, but she was understanding a lot more, um, I would tell her, okay, time to go pick up Constance and Lincoln from school, and many days she would shake her head no. I think she really loved the one-on-one -on -one time, which who doesn't? Um, but after the morning without brother and sister at home, we go pick them up from school. She doesn't love her car seat, and so sometimes it's a little bit of a struggle since there definitely is a good amount of car driving when you're the third little sister in the family. Mimi, are you happy? 
Mimi, are you happy? Happy. Happy. Are we getting things going? Do you want to sing a song? The people on the bus go up and down. Up and down. So we made it, and now we're getting Lincoln from school, huh, Mimi? Are we going to get Lincoln? Yeah, Lincoln. Let's go get him at school, okay, Mimi? Um, but she does pretty well. And in the car, we do snacks, as well as I also have downloaded a few shows. Um, or we sing songs. Oh, she loves to sing. <laughs> So we sing the wheels on the bus. The people on the bus go up and down. Up and down. Up and down. People on the bus go. We sing. Um, I have a little turtle. His name is Tiny Tim. We sing Itsy Bitsy Spiders. So we sing a lot of songs always, but in the car it helps a lot for helping her to 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 survive the car rides. So we pick up brother and sister from school in the afternoon is a lot of just helping them with homework. Sometimes we try to make it to a park or at least we play outside. And while her brother and sister are doing those things, if they're doing homework, she has her colors and she's coloring. She wants to do the same things. When they're playing with toys, she wants to be right there driving cars. She wants to be right outside with them while they ride their bikes, running around and playing. Um, she definitely is one, one of the kids and does really well with that. And then in the evenings, we go pick up Justin from work and we just have typical, just a little bit of family time, we eat dinner, and then it's bath into bed. Bath in, we do, her nighttime routine is a shower, and then usually we try to find some time to read some books. We definitely say a little prayer and read some scriptures as a family, and then she's off to bed. And she actually goes to bed right now really well with Justin or with I, or sometimes she chooses one or the other. But luckily um, for me, right now it's nice that Justin can also get her to sleep. She's gone through various phases, obviously, like most little kids. And right now her nap schedule is a little up in the air, juggling between sometimes a morning nap, sometimes an afternoon nap, sometimes a short one of each. Um, which affects her bedtime. So usually she's in bed between 7.30 and 9 at night. And then her brother and sister go to sleep around the same time. So that's a little sneak, a little peek into the life of Amelia. And please comment below if you have any other questions about raising kids in general, but also especially raising our little toddler, Amelia, here in Mexico. And like, subscribe, share, and I'll see you in our next video. Bye. time each day like this, huh, Mimi? Are you drinking, Opai? Mum, mum? Yummy? Yeah,